In 2015, we left the rat race and went to the farm. We bought a 100-year-old farmhouse and nine acres. After three years of extensive renovations, we can finally call ourselves College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today, we're talking eggplant. Today, I'm gonna to go over how you take care of eggplant. Now, planting eggplants just like planting tomatoes. You've seen me do that in another video. I use my pipe planter and plant them. So you can check that video out, how to plant brassicas without bending over. I do tomatoes the same way. So we want to talk about eggplant today. Eggplant is a, a plant we really like. We really like to eat eggplant. We make hamburgers out of it. Eggplant Parmesan, fried eggplant grilled eggplant. There's all kinds of, of ways that we prepare our eggplant. But what I want to show you today is about taking care of eggplant. Now eggplant is prone to blossom end rot and I don't know if it's calcium related or not. Out here in the field I can look it up but out here in the field I know that I'm calcium deficient anyway so it won't hurt my eggplant to put a little calcium around it. So I've already done that. You can see how I do that in the uh, preventing blossom end rot video. I put a little calcium around them, a little lime, and then I came back and gave them a little fertilizer. Not a whole lot, just a little. Because they'll need a little fertilizer on as the year goes. But what I want to talk to you about eggplant is, is that everything eats it. If you don't spray your eggplant and start spraying early, you won't get none. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to take you for a little walk here. Let me take the camera down. Right here is an example of the damage done to eggplant by leaf miners. And look right here. I want you to see what that is. That, my friends, is a potato beetle. That's the Colorado potato beetle. Now, here's another one. These haven't been in the garden a day, two or three days, and look at the damage on the leaves already. If you don't start spraying them early, they are not going to make it. So what I start off with is while they're little like this, I spray with Ortho Bug Be Gone. Now I know some of y'all are organic and that's okay, you can be organic, uh, but until these bloom, I spray with ortho. I'm going to have to do that with my tomatoes too because even the tomatoes have potato bugs on them this year. Even my tomatoes have potato bugs on them this year. So I fixed up a sprayer full of ortho bug be gone. I used to use liquid seven but I understand that that might not be good for the bees. So I've gone to bug be gone. That's probably not good for the bees either. Later on I'll use an insecticide and I'll soap, but I've never had Colorado potato beetles get on eggplant nor on tomatoes before, and they're on both of them this year. So this is apparently a bad year for potato beetles, but I just mix up a sprayer full. I've just got one of these pump sprayers, uh, one and a half gallons. I've mixed it up, pumped it up, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a nice coating on each plant, that'll take care of those. Uh, that'll take care of the potato beetles and all of that. Now, eggplant is also one of those plants that if you don't keep the weeds out of them you won't get none. So plan to keep your eggplants fairly clean. Uh, I'll mulch these a little, but for the most part, I'll use my tractor to cultivate them. And we'll get a bumper crop of eggplant. We'll probably put up 12 to 15 one gallon bags, but we'll see that when it's time. I'd like to thank you for visiting with us at College Hill Farm today. I hope you found our videos entertaining and, and or informative. Uh, if you did, please like, share, 
subscribe, and comment on both Facebook and YouTube. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.